Hey guys, it's Logan Holmes, and it's time for episode review number 43. In this video, I'll be reviewing the Magic Baby from Rugrats. This video was a request by Tyler Caswell. It is a season 6 episode, and I don't think I talked about it in my top 10 best season 6 episodes. Anyway... Start this video. So Lou is reading Jack and the Beanstalk to the baby, to the Rugrats. Phil wants to be a giant when, they, when he grows up, and Chucky's wondering if giants are real, and Angel Fist says that they're not, because there's stories told up to tell people. Angelica's like, Finster, you're the scariest little baby I know. So, um, Tony's got a pony and it's getting Reptar for a ride, and then, and then Angelica says that, and Reptar's too big to ride the pony, so, and wants, um, uh, Cynthia to ride it, and then, Angelica's gonna report Tony to the, to the pony thing. So Angelica t tells Dee Dee that he's, that Tony's being mean to me. Uh, and then, uh, Dee Dee says that, um, that Tommy can play with his pony how he looks to. Angelica's out of playing to get, um, so, Angelica gets what she calls magic balls, like, some kind of, comes from, like, some kind of, something that, some beans that I think uh, Lou was eating. <coughs> so, um, because Angelica tells Tommy about growing the beanstalk. That's that they can use that. Doesn't have to be a beanstalk. They can use the magic beans to wish for whatever they want. Tommy tells Angelica that it's a deal. Will wishes for a big juicy worm, and Phil wishes for wishes for some mud, really big mud. So Tommy wishes for So Tommy wishes for a uh, reptar and hundred uh, ice cream cones and a penny. And Chucky wishes he can tie it, that he could tie the shoes.
So Dill ate the magic beans, they're saying. So, Phil thinks that Dill's magic now, too. So, um, Stu has this thing that will water his old lawn in just seconds. But then it ends up going all fast. So then Phil gets his oh I get Phil thinks they got his wish, which it's for mine. So they think that Dill is magic. Angelica decides to make a wish on Dill. Uh, Chucky wishes that he wasn't scared of uh, monsters and stuff like that. Chucky thinks that giant's coming to get Dill. Well, Angelica says that. So Angelica says that instead of saying that uh, monsters, uh, um, giants weren't real, she says that she meant that monsters, uh, that giants weren't real nice. So they're running away from the giant, which is actually Angelica. So when Joe Park tells Dill that she wants to be a princess. What are you, broke or something? Where's my crown and cookies? Joe Park's like, what are you, broke or something? Where's my crown and cookies? She also was for, for cookies. So they lost the giant, and Phil thinks that giants that maybe take a nap, and those like giants don't take naps. That's why they're so grumpy. So then. Uh, Del tries to solve on Cynthia. So they so they found what they think is the giant, uh Chucky did, which I mean of course it's still Angelica. Angelica's like, hey, get back here with my magic baby.
so then Chucky knew about it, and then he tell, then he told the other Rugrats about it. So Chucky thinks that he, uh, Tommy thinks that Chucky saved Dill, because the giant's gone. So Chucky made a wish, but it was, uh, what's her name, they say. So Lil just, um, Dill just put the magic beans in his, uh, in his diaper. So Tommy thinks the magic was inside Chucky. So, um, Dee Dee's like, there, there you go, Dale, it's time for lunch. There you go, Dale, that is. So then it's throwing mud at them. It's raining worms, as Lou calls it. And worms at the horse, so that means that Lil got her wish. <laughs> and Joka finds the beans, but then Spock eats them. So Lil thinks that Spock is magic, and tells Spock that, that she tells Spock that she wants to be a princess. Well, guys, that's it. This was a really good episode. I I just really like this um. The whole plot was really good. I really liked the whole Magic Beans plot and and with them thinking that that if someone ate the Magic Beans, then then their magic. That was just a really good plot, I'd have to say. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Tyler Caswell for requesting this video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, fans.